Hi guys, I'm back for you today with another unboxing video. I just got this package and it's full of art materials, so let's have a look. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let me get everything out of this box. In case you watched one of my other art supplies unboxing videos, this might seem like a deja vu for you. Because I ordered this one before, the Copic block stand, as you can see here in the back. But I want to build a higher tower because my Copic sketch collection is growing. So I need another one of those. And what I can do now with this is build a higher tower. Yay! If you're wondering what's all this in the back, it wasn't in the box. I ordered those items a while ago. Since I'm showing you some art material today, I can show you what I've recently also bought. But now let's have a closer look at those. And as you can already see, it's a bunch of Copic markers and a few other pens. Anyway, here we have a refill ink for lemon yellow. I have to refill it. This one, it's dying. If you're wondering how this works, I already did a tutorial on how to refill your markers. Then I bought some Copic Chows. They almost look all the same in this light, but they are not. I'm gonna um, do some swatches later. It's cool gray number zero and number two. And brick white. And here we have buttercup yellow. I ordered some Copic sketch markers now that I have the second landing <laughs> for my Copic tower. I need to fill it too. I will also put some of my inks in there so it doesn't look that empty. That's what I got. It's actually, it kind of looks like a cute color combination. And then I also bought these two glitter pens. Let's do some swatches. Okay, I just prepared this little page here. Some of them are very light so I hope you can see them at all. Pretty! It's very light. This is my tiny Midori sketchbook if you're wondering because Copic colors look different on every paper. Just wanted to let you know. Viola. Pretty! I think you can actually see it on camera. It's very very bright pinkish. Next one. Nice mint like this one too. They really make a good color combination. Maybe I have to try and make a doodle with them. That's always the good thing for me about new art supplies. It always inspires me to try new stuff. That's my excuse to buy too many new art supplies. <laughs> Ice Ocean. Very nice too. Oh, it's super pale. I like those super pale colors, but it's um, not easy to get them right on camera. I hope you can see it. It is uh, this one. Damn green. I made a little separation here between the Copic sketch markers and the Copic chows. If you want to know more about the different kinds of Copic markers, I made a video about this. I can link it somewhere. But it's basically Copic Chows are just a smaller, less expensive version of Copic Sketch Markers. Another very pale color, but that is what I was looking for. Cool gray zero C2. Okay, that's for the new um, Copic Markers. Let me try the two glitter pens now. This one is called Blossa. Super, super light. Oh, it's so light. Hmm. I will probably just use them for little highlights. Then I thought they would be a bit darker. That's what can happen if you order online. <laughs> Passion, this is the one that came in one of those uh, dual sets. This one is actually pretty dark. So I thought the other ones would be too. That's everything that was in the box. Let me show you the tower again. I just put some of my markers in there. And ta-da! Here is my double tower. The new Copics over here, here and some other Copic chows and some Copic refill inks. You can basically put all your different Copics in there. Here are some originals. I'm excited to see how this will look 
on my desk later. And now let me show you the few other things. I will link everything below where I got that. Let's start with the pens. I will just use my little Milori sketchbook. Those pens are actually my go-to pens for outlines. I mostly use them in size S. I bought this set because I can never find the XS pens anywhere. Dun -dun. So shiny and they're new. Let me just give you a quick view. So um, this is size S. I used it for here too. So tiny. And boop. this uh, used to be my go-to pen size S, but I switched to size S. Now this is my favorite. Boop. And the next item. Uh, those mild liners, not highlighters, but mild liners. And maybe you can tell I totally fell for the cute pastel colors and the rainbow packaging. <laughs> There's nothing really special about those. I just bought them because I recently started a bullet journal and I needed something to color a bit in it and I couldn't use my Copics because the colors bleed through and for the mild liners they don't at least not too much but it's not really um, they are not really good for coloring it's just more like highlighters but in cute pastel colors this is the planner that I was talking about earlier it's a Leuchtturm 1917 it has this cute dotted grid it's good for bullet journaling and uh, yeah that's what I actually bought these mild liners for because they don't bleach through. Okay and the last few items are these two they actually belong together so this is my favorite sketchbook I finished my last one yay and this is a protection cover for this delicate sketchbook this time things like this can you see this crease here there's a crease in it <laughs> and this can't happen this time i don't need this fancy paper then you might think this is actually already a cover but no it's just this super thin and fancy i don't know if it's rice paper or what it is it's too delicate to be a protection cover okay, let me unpack this now so it's just this blank sleeve that perfectly fits your Midori sketchbook. But before I can wrap this up, I have to kawaii-fy this sketchbook because I, I always need some cute stickers on my sketchbook. Here we have Bushy Harry Potter Spooky or Spooky Potter, the magical Mer Spooky. And I also have my favorite sticker my Bob Ross sticker on my other sketchbook. So now I have to decide which one to pick for this sketchbook. I think maybe the unicorn Spooky might be cute too. Or maybe Spookitty. I think I go with the magical Spooky corn. <laughs> so indecisive. Boop. Wonderful. And um, I just put another one on the back. If you want to know more about this sketchbook, I uh, already did a full review in another video. Okay, and now this cover is not only a good protection for your sketchbook, but also for your cute stickers on the sketchbook. Ta-da! And now it's protecting. And I uh, just discovered this. Yes, actually a little thingy so you can put one pen in it. <laughs> Very handy. Hmm. And the last thing is for the same purpose. I bought this at Daiso. I just wanted to have a little cover for my little Midori sketchbook. And of course, we need to cover-ify this too. So I just put a little Luigi on this. And everything is cute. cover and this is it. See you next time. Bye bye.